Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. To talk, today we're going to talk about reflection deception. Reflections are a big problem in our small rooms. Remember I used to tell people, the best room is no room at all. Take your system outside, find a quiet area outside. No walls, no floor, or no ceiling. The floor would be the earth, obviously. Well, maybe. There's ways around that too, but anyway. Do not under underestimate the power of reflections. And I see it in the photos that you send all the time in room forms. I see things creating more reflections. We call those spurious. There's just a whole series of things that you have to be really, really careful of. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to develop a relationship between the direct sound from our speakers and to our ears. So that's the straight line sound from our speakers to our ears. But unfortunately in rooms with boundary surfaces, we have all of these reflections off the walls. Those are distortions. Okay, so you have to be really careful with that. You get too much room distortion, you're out of balance. And, and the direct energy from your speakers, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna hear it well. What's our options? Well, we have two treatment types, diffusion and absorption. Those are the only two, no matter what you read about on the internet, all right? And when we're gonna use absorption, rate and level for music and voice. I harp and I harp and I harp on this. Building insulation, not designed for music and voice. Music and voice are different. I spent eight years, $2 million, creating our foam technology, chasing these curves for music and voice. This is serious stuff. Using band-aids, boxes filled with building insulation, whatever material type, I've heard it all. It's all about rate and level of absorption for music and voice. There's a relationship there. And it took me a long time to figure that out. Diffusion is another option for treatment. We'll, we'll always want to choose the frequency response of the diffuser but we also have to marry it to the distance that we have to work with. Distance from the surface we're going to put the diffuser on to our ears. Okay. What is the usage of the room? Every usage has a different diffusion position. Our goal is to direct versus this reflection balance. And you can see in this graphic, we have primary, secondary, and tertiary in a two-channel rig setup. There's many more. Okay, especially I'm finding with theater and multiple channels. We can kind of take in theater the primary, secondary, and tertiary reflections and add that to every channel. Every channel has that situation going. So the fronts, the center, the rears, the overheads, they all have this. And I'm learning about that relationship now. We'll, we'll report that in an upcoming video. When you start adding all the reflections up, what do we get? We get reverberation. Yikes. We don't want that. That's a summation of all the reflections. That's the room winning. You're losing the battle. So it's kind of funny because people say, well, I want to do this to my room and I want to do that to the, my room. The room is going to beat you. You're not going to win this, this fight, see. You got to get a strategy and, and all these tactics that you keep throwing at the room are part of a strategy. You gotta look at the overall strategy and then develop tactics to work that. So reflections, 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 they're very, very important for spatial orientation and you know localization and things like that, but they can be very detrimental in our musical presentation. We're after a balance between the direct energy and the reflected energy. That's what we're up, up to. Now, every room usage is going to be a little bit different. Every person's inclination, if you will, towards quality sound is going to be a little different. But this relationship still has to hold a true. There's even time windows on reflections that you should stay within. We'll talk about that in another video. Reflection deception. Don't dismiss these things. These are creatures in our room that we need to treat, okay? Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.